Yo, what's up guys? It is your boy Mythical, everyone's favorite YouTuber, and today we're talking about It's Bunny. I wanted to make this video a while ago, but there were some issues behind the scenes, but now that's all sorted, the video is finally here, and for you guys to see. And you guys might be wondering, Mythical, why are you making a video on Bonnet when he talked about you a couple months ago when he made a video on the commentary community? The reason why I'm making this video is because I need to respond on some of his points because how shit they really were. And there's some things I really do need to say about Bonnet to actually show him what he's doing wrong and to criticize him on the stuff he has done. Anyway, this is the truth about it's Bonnet and I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, cold food shopping And she work out every day You know them news popping Stomach going apple cider vinegar She do something guys, I'm Josh, and I'd like to talk about It's Bunny and the people surrounding it. You see here, It's Bunny is a content creator. I can respect him. His animations are well done, in my opinion, for him being one person. I do disagree with some of the stuff he said in the video he made, The Truth About the Commentary Community Part 2. I do think Panther's part was a bit too overhyped. He tried too hard to be funny, and it nearly ruined the whole vibe going on for the video. The whole situation with Caduce was just a fucking shit show. I do feel like Bunny would have reacted differently if Jaden wasn't involved or Caduce didn't get that much backlash and it's just funny how I actually thought this nigga Caduce was actually speaking truth until my boy Jacko got involved and literally just picked apart his whole content and this whole situation with Caduce could probably happen to any one of us. I feel like the commentary community hypes up the wrong people sometimes and the Caduce situation was a great example. Like if we check the comment section of that video you could literally just see everyone I think including myself say yo this guy's woke he's speaking facts etc but in reality he was a fucking dumbass i also don't agree with pushing slander and that's what caduce and panthers did a while ago there were some tweets made basically pushing this narrative that mythical was dislike botting certain videos i fell in a situation like this too i made some tweets i said i don't care what anyone says mythical botted my video and yes i still believe that my video was botted but i don't think we should be blaming mythical for it in conclusion i do think bunny and mythical can become friends if they just talked but like who knows guys anyways this was josh if you mind checking out my channel go ahead i'm trying to hit 1k subs peace so let's run about jesus's descendants Bonnie's group. So the people who are in the group is Panthers, Caduce, I'm Crow, Astray, and the man himself, Bonnie. The main thing I want to talk about is the loyalty in their group. I already talked about this like a few videos ago on how Caduce was getting cancelled or something like that on Twitter and how he got kicked out of the group temporarily just for the other group to have a good reputation. It seems like they care about their reputation more than their friend group because when Caduce was in hot waters, they kicked him out and then when the drama was dying down, they brought him back in. I mean, if I had friends like that, then I'll probably distance my Myself away from them because it just comes off as fake as fuck. I find it funny how they unironically call other people losers yet they're doing this shit. I'm not trying to ruin a friend group or anything, I'm just saying this right now. Please do better, improve, and then maybe there won't be a massive fight in the future because it's both likely going to happen if you keep acting like this. But what do I know? You probably act very different when the public isn't watching you. But if that is the case then I guess you're putting on personas on Twitter and acting like massive assholes while on YouTube you act like golden boys. Pick one for fuck's sake. Bunny is now deemed the king of commentary apparently. Personally I think otherwise but I'm not gonna get into that. Bunny is the strangest case of a YouTube commentator I've ever seen. We're not going to talk about his personal drama with Mythical but instead my personal opinions and critiques that I have for him. First, I want to talk about Bonnet and all of the JD boys dropping Caduce. So around mid-April, there were some rumors going around that Caduce could potentially be homophobic and transphobic. Caduce then made a twit longer talking about these rumors. It, it's a lot of stuff, but I'm actually not going to talk about that. I actually want to talk about instead the way that it was handled, which was actually very poorly. But let me explain. I'm not defending what Caduce did in any shape, way, or form, but it seems like they only kicked him from the group to keep their wholesome reputation. Now, notice how I said a week and a half. I actually feel like that's a really short time considering what he did. 
It feels like all they did was just remove him when the drama was at its peak and bring him back when it was dying down a bit, which makes it seem like all they care about is their reputation, not their actual friendship. The tweet that they brought him back with looks a little bit like this. Welcome back to Jesus Descendants at Caduce. Or by Ed's Bonnet. The art actually looks really good and I feel like Bonnet is a good artist overall, which is actually something I can really appreciate him for. Anyways, getting kicked from Jesus to Sin does not actually do anything unless an actual conversation between the two parties happen behind the scenes. If you really care, you can watch Mythical's Caduce video, which was really good. It explains pretty much everything you need to know. In my honest opinion, kicking Caduceum from the group for a week and a half does not make him accepting of gay and transgender individuals. It doesn't even show any loyalty within the group, but I digress sometimes. Moving on, I find it also pretty obvious that there's an equal split between all of the JD boys. You have their Twitter personalities, which are these ballsy, egotistical type people who just go around bullying people for absolutely no reason. And then you have their YouTube personas, which is just this blatant mask which makes them look like the nice guy. This can be noticed very early on by literally anybody, and it's really dumb. So I'm not sure why they do this in the first place. I didn't make that claim just to call out Bonet or any of the JD boys because a lot of commentators do this and it's really, really, really stupid. I myself have no problem with Bonet, Panthers, Caduce, or any of the JD boys, so I don't recommend attacking them. But yes, thank you for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube or whatever, but just as a fair warning, it's a bit of a ghost town at the moment. Not like I care, but one day I do plan to bring it back. Anyways, thank you. Peace. Uh, whole food shopping. And she work out every day. You know them news popping. Stomach going apple cider vinegar. She do something. Alright, so this topic is going to be an easy one to do because how obvious he makes it. But before I start with this topic, I know that everyone has an ego, okay? That's a fact. Everyone has an ego, but it depends how high your ego is. Like, for example, Rice Gum's ego is high as fuck, Jake Paul's ego is high as fuck, and PewDiePie and Mr. Beast have low egos. Well, what I could see at least. But I could see Bonnie's ego as an high ego. I have a feeling that Bonnie is going to say, oh, Mythical, you have a high ego. No, I don't. Okay, I've got a low ego. I mean, if you're going to say that I had a high ego in the past, then completely valid. You're right, because I admitted it as well in the past, like a year ago. I definitely had a high ego. But people change, you know, and I have a lower ego now because I humbled myself and I know that I'm not this big man who I thought I was like a year ago. Anyway, let's get back on topic on Barney having a high ego. So this is easy to prove that he has a high ego because on his Twitter, he tweets a lot of stupid shit out and this makes it more easier to make this video on him. This is what he tweeted out. I got no enemies and don't dislike anyone. If you dislike me, you don't have a reason other than jealousy. No, Bonnie, there are reasons why people might dislike you. There might be that one person who may have that reason of disliking you because of jealousy. Fair enough, no one cares about him. But there's some reasons why other people dislike you, okay? For example, my reasons. This whole fucking video what I'm talking about right now. They're my reasons why I dislike you. Alright, so calm down and get off your high horse, little bitch. Also, why would I be jealous of you because I'm hating on you? I have a higher platform than you. Not trying to sound egotistical, but it's the truth. I got more subs than you. More views, unless you make another um, whole video about the commentary community, then you'll probably beat me in views in that. Because that does really well on your channel. But once again, more subs, more views on my videos. Why would I be jealous of you? I have a higher platform. Once again, I will say this again, not trying to sound egotistical. I'm just saying that I have a higher platform, so there's no reason for me to be jealous of someone like you. Also, I got a good feeling that Bonnie is going to use the word satire as a shield so he can block all of the criticism from his tweet. If he does that, not saying he will, but if he does that though, you will just look like a joke because so many commentators use this strategy to stay out of criticism and all that other shit, alright? They use satire as a shield, which really should not be used like that whatsoever. Also, I find it really funny how he tried to clown my uh, clip from my Twitter saying he needs to be humbled. I mean, I'm not wrong. This guy does have an ego. I said it and I was clowned for it. 
But now it really is coming out that he has an ego. So all of you clowning on me, take this middle finger and go and fuck yourself. Uh, whole food shopping. And she work out every day, you know them news popping. Stomach going apple cider vinegar, she do something. Hello everyone, your favorite piece of toast here, and today on Mythical's channel, I'm going to be addressing some stuff with the big man himself, the person who created the two hour hentai, Bunne, and his relationship with other people. Now in the video, he addresses friendship and trustworthiness in the commentary community. I personally find it hypocritical. We all throw shots at friends here and there and clown on them a little bit and have some fun, but when there comes a friendship in this community, there's a factor inside of that. Here's a personal list I made just for this video. Now you see here that the first step is leave the community that's all you have to do now i may be exaggerating just a little bit but most of the closest friendships in this community are ones that have left in general now you may say toshi how does it relate to your main point I'll tell you how. Most of the people in his video he barely cares for besides a couple people in his friend group. Caduce, Panthers, and Crow. In almost every important rant video, there's always a category in place that all three of them are in. So, they're out of the question. But you see, almost every time you talk to them, they're always yapping shit about their friends and people that they have in the video we are discussing about. Bunny countless times has talked shit behind multiple people's backs, even when they helped him in the end. He then decides to white knight in the video, acting like he is such a a strong trust with everyone just because he is high respect in the end bunny is only trusted because of his respect he has in the community but the last thing i want to say is bunny good luck because eventually you'll slip up ruin respects when talking shit adios let me go all right so bunny had made some hypocritical tweets on his twitter account and i got to call them out right now Alright, so let's start with this one. I tweeted at Bonnet because he blocked my Twitter account and I wanted to say like why I thought he blocked me. So he said, Guy legit stalks my page even after having me blocked. I blocked him back because I saw him view one of my fleets despite having me blocked. So I wanted to see if he would say anything truly weirdo behavior. Okay, Bonnet. One, what is the fucking problem with that, okay? I mean, like, yeah, I had you blocked and I viewed your tweets. Can that be a scumbag move from my part? Uh, yeah, but do I care? No. Two, I was only doing a bit of research for my video on you. And three, you did the exact same fucking thing because I had you blocked and you somehow got my tweet and tweeted at me. You have no room to talk. You did the exact same thing what you tried to call me out on for stalking your Twitter page. Bro, shut the fuck up. Even what I said about you blocking me because I made the Caduce video wasn't true, then fair enough, alright? But that was weird fucking timing for you to block me. Wanna know something completely funny and hypocritical from Bonnet? The whole reason why he made the truth about the commentary community part 2 is because of its toxicity. I will even show you the tweet right now and read it out to you. So Bonnet said, the truth about the commentary community part 2? And then someone else commented saying, so there is more types of small commentators? And then he replied to that tweet saying, I have some other things I want to say. It's gonna be way shorter, but there's some people I want to talk about that are quote unquote toxic. Okay, one, your video was not shorter than the original video, and two, aren't you toxic yourself? Because you try and bully people on Twitter all the time, and it's embarrassing to see because it's such a failed attempt of you trying to be funny that honestly, you might as well just call them a retard. Oh wait, <laughs> you called me a retard, yet you're not toxic. Okay, buddy. If you're gonna call people out for being toxic, then maybe you should call out yourself and your shitty friend group, but you're most likely not gonna do that because you and your friend group just like to lick each other's assholes 24-7 because that's all you do. You're all yes men. Man, you're going to be wasted potential if you keep acting like a retard 24-7, so... Do me a favor and do yourself a favor. Don't act like a fucking retard. And this is coming from the autistic person. You're the retard, not me. What the fuck? Alright, so now I'm going to be responding to Bonnie's points against me, what he made on his video. 
I am going to say this, I don't think he has done that much research on me because he's got a lot of things wrong about me. I mean, I, I'm not saying everything's wrong about me, what he said, because that would just be me lying then. But he did get a lot of things wrong about me and I'm going to call him out on it and uh, actually bring the facts in context. Anyway, what would be the first thing he's going to say about me? So right off the bat, I'm going to say his content fucking sucks. Alright, so there's this YouTuber called Bun A, and he needs to be fucking humbled. My man made a video called The Truth About The Commentary Community, and the thing about him, what I don't like, is how he acts like he's perfect. Like, can someone actually criticise this guy and his content? He's not perfect. He needs to be humbled, okay? He has little yes men hyping him up. Like, for example, the Panthers, or whatever his name is. Jesus Christ, man, I don't like that guy one bit. He's a bit of a wanker as well. But, Mythical, I don't act as if I'm perfect, or think that I'm perfect. You see, if you got off your high horse, and attempted to not go after people's necks after making a few jokes about your content, and not take it as a personal attack, you will realize how idiotic and immature you sound. Because it is childish. It is. I love how he said my content sucks, but he pulls up a Twitter video I made which wasn't meant to be good by the way. It's a Twitter video, not a main channel video. But he still pulls it up acting like, oh this is his content guys, it's shit. I love how he said that I'm on my high horse, but he's the egotistical one in this situation. And don't say I'm egotistical. Because maybe if you get to know me, then you'll probably change your mind on that straight away. Because I'm not an egotistical maniac who fucking thinks I'm the best in shit. Unlike you, who said on Twitter that people are mad at you or hate you because they're jealous of you. I mean, that's a screaming out egotistical. But I will definitely say this, I did word some things wrong when I made that Twitter video saying like, oh, you think you're perfect and shit. What I meant by that is that you think highly of yourself. I definitely did word some things wrong. But once again, you are egotistical and that was the fucking message I was bringing on. And well, was I wrong? No, I wasn't. But I will agree on this point though, no. I was being a little bit childish when I came at you out of nowhere. The whole reason why I've done that is because I don't like you because I've been looking into you and all that stuff. And uh, well, I did not like the vibe I was getting from you. I felt like you would not be a great fit for the community so I went at you. Which that was my mistake, I should not have done that out of nowhere but you know, we move. After I announced that I'm going to be talking about him in part 2, this kid's been constantly crying and thinking about me non-stop. Actually, <laughs> scratch that. Let's take a look at this comment that he left on Dark Default's video regarding part 2. They can't take a joke and take almost everything too serious. They even called me a loser when they are making a whole animation over some stupid YouTube drama or something. I still can't believe they are titling their video The Truth About The Commentary Community when all they're going to do is rant about certain people like me you, ARC, and toxic distress. Yeah, yep, that's, that's definitely all we're doing. But anyway, it's funny how he says that we can't take a joke and take almost everything too serious. When he got mad at me and the JD boys for making jokes about his music on a live stream, which is fucking dog shit, by the way. How are you gonna call me out for quote unquote thinking about you all the time when you've been talking about me way too much as well and you made a whole animation about me i mean like the hypocrisy right now with you is up there man it's so fucking high you have no room to talk once again you made a whole animation on me and you were talking about me a shit ton on twitter you have no room to talk and yes, I will agree, my music is shit. The music I put out right now is shit. Like, I even know that myself. The whole reason why I upload it is because I do it for fun. I enjoy doing it and I'm hoping to get better as an artist. Yeah, right now I'm shit, but we all improve, don't we? And talking about music, didn't you make a diss track on Josh and then one of your friends, or you, I don't know who put it up there, but one of them put it on Genius so we could see the lyrics, alright? The only problem I have with this is that you did not credit one of the features Morty. If you have someone on a song, you should credit them. You should put their lyrics there, but you didn't. And you did not credit him, but he was in the song. What a fucking scumbag. He got angry to the point where he blocked me and a few others on Twitter and posted this clip saying that 
I need to be humbled. According to Medigo, I need to be humbled and people need to start criticizing me. Fucking humbled. He was essentially trying to start drama with me over the petty and clear jokes that me and my friends made on stream. If you have a problem with people starting drama with you, then why the fuck would you make this whole video in the first place? You knew for a fact it would start some drama. But no, clearly you did not know or you're just wanting drama. Whatever it is, you're fucking stupid. Mythical, you can deny this all you want, but everybody knows that this is the real reason you began to dislike me. You know what, I will deny this because that is not the real reason why I dislike you. The real reason why I dislike you is because you're an egomaniac, okay? That's all you are is an egomaniac. I won't sit around and say that I don't have a big ego, but let's be honest. I kind of do. There we go. Case closed. I was right this entire time. He is egotistical. For real though, I couldn't really care that much that you roast me and my music. I don't care that much. I mean, I get roasted all the time by the people who I'm chill with and still chill with to this day. This 17 year old was crying over him not getting placed where he wanted to. Where he wanted to in a commentary community tier list. Where's Fuck you. What do you mean? What do you mean to garbage? Okay. What do you, oh, well, man, why do we, why do we I'm better than you. I'm better than you and Josh. Fuck you. Outright now. I'm, I'm, I'm going to start really breaking bad. shit. I don't care. I'm going to start breaking shit, fam. What the fuck? Outrageous. I am, I, I, I am gonna cancel everyone in this fucking call, yeah? How dare you? What the fuck? Man, nah, man, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna start stabbing shit. I am better than you, Septi, for sure. How dare you? Do you think a normal person who doesn't have an enormous ego would act like this? I normally wouldn't see a problem with someone being cocky or having self-confidence, but when you go out of your way to say that other people's content isn't good, while making a dog shit video or having a horrible take as a whole, you're kind of destroying your own claims and taking away all the credibility that you have. Alright Bonnie, let me say this right now. I was playing a character in that stream because I thought it was funny to play a character who's egotistical and overreacts on many little things like that. Because, well, I'm an entertainer and I like to entertain people and I thought that was one of the ways to entertain people but clearly fucking not with you because you took that shit a little seriously and I had to use that as a fucking point. Would you seriously think I would act like that behind the scenes when people were not streaming or recording? No, I'm not that much of a fucking loser, alright? Fucking hell, like how bad do you think I am? Mythical does nothing but talk shit in his videos. And that is something that is well known. It's not about people disliking you for having an unpopular opinion, as he claims. It's just you being an asshole about everything. I don't know, I feel like in every single video where we're talking about somebody, you always have to slide in a little piece of opinion that you have about somebody. That just It's just so unrelated to the topic of your video. It's just you being a fucking cunt. And I got called out for apparently copying chills and all that. I checked out his music and I personally don't think it's that good in my opinion. I mean, it's okay. But like, it's not my taste. Just drop this when it's really late for some people. I feel like that this guy doesn't know how time actually works. You know that the earth spins around so one side is daytime and the other side is nighttime. That's how it works, it's not that fucking complicated. Dude, the song was awful, plus you dropped it at a really late time. Your tweet was awful, and you were baby bitch. Yeah, no shit, I am known for being a cunt. I am a cunt, I know that for a fact I am, alright? So if you don't like it, unsubscribe. Fuck off, don't watch my videos. I do not give a shit about you and your opinion on me being a cunt. I do not care whatsoever, alright? I mean, I'm not gonna change for someone else to have a fucking erection, alright? I have some people who enjoy my content, and I'm not gonna change my content anytime soon because I enjoy what I'm doing, so I'm not gonna listen to someone in a rabbit suit to tell me what to do. I wanna talk about mythical faking pedo allegations. <laughs> <laughs> Along with a few other people. Yeah, you know, just, just, just your casual experiment on the commentary community. The normal and moral thing to do. Faking fucking pedophile allegations. If you guys don't know what happened, I'm gonna explain to you in the best way possible. So, essentially, <clears throat> Jox and Mythigo decided to do a quote-unquote experiment on the commentary community to find out if the community was bad. Which, I'm not sure how this is gonna prove that the commentary community is bad. If anything, you're just making yourself look bad worse there are a lot of pedophiles in the internet already who are actively attacking children every single day 
and get called out by this community constantly. I don't understand what's so bad or what makes a commentary community so pathetic for believing your bullshit experiment and calling you out for being a pedo. The best part is that nobody believed you, which is incredible. It goes to show how untrustworthy and how much of a deep asshole you've dig yourself in. So what they essentially were trying to play is that Mythical was talking to this 14 year old girl and essentially flirting with her and getting, you know, nudes from her. All while knowing her age and Mythical is 17, almost 18. So they were trying to play the card that he was a pedophile. Anyway, Jocks randomly out of nowhere sends me these pictures of said conversation with Mythical and a supposed 14 year old girl. So he tells me that the 14 year old girl didn't want any of this leak. So he blurred out the name and profile picture. The first <laughs> and the first pathetic mistake he made was that there's a screenshot in which he didn't blur the name and profile picture. And no, he didn't do it on purpose. I know Mythical is going to try to play it off as if he did that shit on purpose. No, they didn't. Anyway, he said that the quote unquote 14 year old girl didn't want him sending this to anyone at the time because she's part of the community and people might recognize her. Oh boy, oh boy, what a trustworthy person Jox is. She also said that she needed help and advice, but Jox did not believe her. She had stopped talking to Mythical and she says that she feels sorry for asking him if he wanted nudes. But oh, oh my god. Mythical accepted and consented to nudes being sent knowing she's 14 and he's 17. Almost 18. You know what, to keep things fair, let me show you my point of view on everything and why we actually did this. We did this to see how gullible the community was and uh, our results, what we got is uh, the half of the people who knew fell for it. So him saying that no one fell for it is clearly a bunch of bullshit and clearly no research done on that. So what we did was fake some screenshots on Photoshop or Expert Element, I don't know, but someone faked it so we could do this experiment and we added mistakes on purpose to see if people would catch on to see if this uh is true or not and uh clearly people did not notice it and um some people fell for it and we're not gonna say who because we don't want to ruin their reputations because we meant no harm doing this experiment all right we meant no harm whatsoever we wanted to see what would happen and now we've seen what happened it does not look good for uh the people who fell for it so we're not gonna leak that we'll try not to leak it anyway so yeah i mean if they want to come out and say that they fell for it that's on them i don't care like that's their problem now but we knew what we were getting into when we were doing this experiment we knew that our reputations won't be the best after this and it might take a little while to um redeem that but we know what we're doing and there's no harm whatsoever when doing this experiment. You can hate me after this or not, but at, at the end of the day, I don't think what we did was that bad. Like We did definitely go a little bit far, just a little bit, but it wasn't that bad, okay? I mean, like no harm was actually done except from the people who set this up, which was, well, me, well, just a little bit of me because I didn't really set it up that much um josh and someone else who i'm not going to mention because um well some people might know why and if you're looking for a um apology from this well you're not going to get one because well that would just be me lying and me being dishonest because i'm not actually sorry what i've done because i know for a fact that no harm was actually done to really anyone yeah i mean if you don't like it that's your problem not mine but i definitely learned from it though i definitely learned from it and maybe won't go that extreme again because well i will admit i went a little bit extreme on it but hey me and mythical hadn't had any form of interaction for a while prior to this tweet that i made where uh, I essentially called him out. I didn't even call him out, to be honest. Let's just, let's just read this thread. I am grateful that I didn't have a childhood consisting of being in the commentary community. The shit people would do for attention is embarrassing. I thank Jesus every day because I'm me. Thank fucking God I'm not a loser. Amen and a woman. Sorry, buddy, but what I did was an experiment and it worked. The plan was to see what the commentary community is really like and half the people who knew about this believed it. This proves what you guys will do to get some form of approval from the community. Instead of starting to start more drama with people, how about just end it and move on? You're not doing anything productive and come off as a fucking loser. Coming from the person who is making a whole animation for a commentary video ranting on others. You literally just fake being a pedo. You have absolutely no room to fucking speak. Ha 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 Sounds like you're mad. Mythical tends to do this a lot. He rarely ever admits when he's in the wrong. When he's cornered up, he usually goes for the 
Sounds like you're mad. With a wrong your, of course, because, you know, you can't forget that one. Well, I admit that I was in the wrong a few times in this video, so that claim is right out the window. And two, we do a little bit of trolling. It's called we do a little bit of trolling. But it really sounds like you're mad, though. If something needs to be cancelled, there should be a spelling on grammar. It's no fucking... There's no way he said this. He will usually say things like that or start insulting the person criticizing him and then proceed to block them and make tweets talking shit about them while having them blocked. You see, this is quite ironic coming from the person who constantly says that the commentary community and everybody inside of it is fake. So, Tyrecast calls Mythical out for something that we're about to talk about in a second. And long story short, Mythical blocks him. <laughs> Mythical blocks him. And then he proceeds to talk shit about him while he's blocked. And this is him replying to Tyrecast while Tyrecast is making comments about Mythical. He has Tyrecast blocked, yet he's still replying to him. And Tyrecast can't see it because he hasn't blocked. Bunny, you don't realize how dumb you're being right now because you're giving me what I want. What I want is to piss people off. That's what I do on Twitter because it's funny. I enjoy pissing people off. So stop crying about it, man, or you're just going to give me what I want. But it really sounds like you're mad, though. Final thing I want to mention about Mythical is regarding dislike bombing people. This happens a lot in the commentary community, and it's extremely petty. I do not have indefinite proof that states that Mythical 100% did it, but it's definitely suspicious, and the correlations add up creating at least a somewhat decent argument. Let's just say it's way too much of a coincidence for it not to have some truth in it. So first, it begins whenever I watch Eski's diss track on Mythical. I noticed that there was a bunch of dislikes, yet not a single hate comment. First thing that came to my mind was that Mythical was definitely behind it, but I didn't think much of it. My live stream where I talked about Mythical had no dislikes, but as soon as Mythical noticed and blocked me on Twitter out of nowhere, tell me why my stream started getting a bunch of dislikes. The funniest part is, is that it stopped once I told them that I didn't have a problem with them. I don't have any evidence or screenshots to back this up, but uh, you're just gonna have to take my word for it. You guys know I'm not the type of person to lie about somebody. Somebody. That's just not the kind of shit I would do. After that, I thought it was over. But I noticed that every single time that a video of Mythical is made, regardless of how valid or invalid the points are, the like dislike ratio always tends to do worse than average. Jox made a video on Mythical and it got absolutely fucking flooded with dislikes with little to no hate comments. Just look at the amount, it's unreal. Now let's talk about what happened to Staxi's stream. He did a stream where he ranked people in a commentary tier list, and the fucking second he ranks Mythical in F tier, the stream starts getting a shitload of dislikes. That's far too much of a coincidence, considering that right after that happened, Mythical tweeted crying that people dislike him or disrespect him in the community. And yes, Staxis did tell everyone to dislike his stream, but it was right after the dislikes flooded in after he ranked Mythical. He did that shit as a joke. You thought it was over? There's more! Kiduz's video in which he talked about Mythical got dislike bombed. Now compare that to his other videos. Hmm. Then a clip of that video which was uploaded to Pantish's channel that was about Mythical got 6 likes and 11 dislikes. Not a single negative comment, keep that in mind for either of the videos. And the best part is that the other clip which is about Swagger got the same amount of likes and not a single dislike. This can obviously lead someone to believe that his Mythical clip got dislike bombed or Mythical used alts to dislike his video. I also did a live stream where it's a commentary tier list and it got dislike bombed to fucking oblivion and throughout the whole stream I was making jokes about Mythical. You see, this would be a lot more believable if Mythical had a strong subscriber base. However, I don't think I've ever heard anybody say that they're excited for the next Mythical video or unironically watch Mythical for his content. You say that we're trying to make you look bad, but we're simply stating and calling out what seems obvious to us. And yes, he did say on Twitter that it wasn't him who disliked Body Caduce's video and that it was Bowish. Jox and Bowish have been friends since forever, so I don't see him dislike botting his video on you. I don't see him dislike bombing Esky's diss track. I don't see him dislike bombing Staxi's stream. I don't see him dislike bombing my stream. Fuck! Panthers is fucking clip. I'm not saying that Mythical 100% did it, but there are so many factors that play in for me to believe that he did. You know what? At least he didn't make it, so it's a 100% fact in his video. Unlike some people, I kind of respect that. Why the fuck would I dislike bomb people? That's like the most stupidest thing anyone could do because it will just help them get through the algorithm and all that because it's interaction with the video. I mean, I'm just helping them get views, and that's what I don't really want, right? I'm not saying that the videos weren't botted because I think they were, but it wasn't by me. It was probably by someone else, you know? Know, maybe you should consider that it might be someone else because it's easier to frame a smaller youtuber than a bigger youtuber and i did try and disprove this on my second channel when someone made a video on me and it was getting a bunch of dislikes so i recorded my own screen and all that moved my mouse around looked at the dislikes and likes and all that and it wasn't me i mean some may say hey you might have done it on your phone well i'm here to say that i didn't do that 
but you know what I say, innocent until proven guilty, and there's been zero actual solid evidence that I've dislike bombed anyone at all. Here to tell you, Mythical, don't respond to this video. I know that if you do, you'll end up attempting to attack me instead of taking the criticism to improve yourself. Ultimately, you will achieve absolutely nothing by doing so. Because I'm not going to respond to you and you'll end up making yourself look far worse. Well, I did take some of the criticism. I just wanted to say that some of your criticism or points were absolutely invalid. And if you don't want to respond, I don't care. I don't want you to respond either because I'm getting sick and tired of this. This took so much time to make. I don't want to do another one. So please don't respond as well. I mean, <laughs> it's just going to be a fucking back and forth thing if we start responding to each other like that. So... Yeah, let's uh, not do that. So now all I gotta say is, um, case closed and checkmate. Anyway, this is the end of the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you get notified when I upload. And make sure you leave a like on the video too, because I'm a little desperate at the moment. Also, join my dead Discord server as well, because, you know, it's fucking dead. And make sure you follow me on Twitter and, um, follow me on Instagram and buy some of the merch as well and uh yeah i hope i can go back to normal videos after this and um yeah that's pretty much all i gotta say see you guys later and uh suck your mom hey 24 7 i'm a real one i ain't got no money problems i ain't got no children dodging baby mama drama whoop, that's a close one ass like a host but her face like she hosts some uh cold food shopping and she work out every day you know them news popping stomach going apple cider vinegar she do something to me good sex got you thinking me and you something thought it was hey thought it was thought it was four fives two tens that's a dub that's a